Hey everyone, it's Mike here once again, and I am now on day two of my turbo install of my Saturn Sky. Uh, if you missed day one, I'm gonna put a link below uh, in the description, so it'll take you back to the first day where we actually took the turbo off of the other guy's car. But uh, today um, is day two, like I said. Tomorrow is gonna be another day that we're gonna be actually installing his turbo side, the hot side of the, uh, of the turbo on, the, on my car. But for now, I'm gonna show you a little challenge that I have that I'm gonna have to deal with. And I knew I was gonna to have to deal with it, just wasn't sure how to figure it out, but I think I do have the solution. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna show you the challenge that I have and show you how I'm gonna solve it. Okay, with this particular setup, the charge pipes you can see go straight down uh, and into the intercooler on both sides. And the way their red line and GXP is set up, the intercooler has their outlets and inlet coming out towards the, uh, the charge pipes right out of the back of the intercooler. However, this particular setup has it going down the one side coming around. Let me see if I can kind of show you here. There's that silver pipe coming around a silver pipe and then going into the side of the intercooler, which I'm not sure if I can get a shot of it here, but um, it's kind of like around there. Um, anyway, the pipe's going into the side of the intercooler instead. So because of that, these pipes are in the way for these pieces right here. This one is the air dam that kind of deflects the air up into the regular radiator. Radiator. Here I go and doing it again. Uh, and then there's this piece, which is the bottom of uh, the bottom air dam, which also directs the flow of the air up into the radiator right there. So that top piece kind of goes on top, and then the bottom one goes on the bottom. But because I have these pipes in the way, they don't fit anymore. So what I need to do is get some kind of piece of something and run it right up from the uh, the front of the bumper there, or the back of the bumper actually, up into around this area here, which is where the old one uh, attached. And then underneath the car as well, I need to get it to come from the front of the bumper, uh, or well, the bottom of the bumper, and then come up and attach to the bottom there. So uh, I think I do have a pretty good solution. And I was looking for a material that I could use, like a plastic, however, what I have right here, because I'm in the roofing industry, I have a um, roofing membrane, it's called TPO. You can look that up if you want. But anyway, it's a piece of a uh, very, very, very durable uh, piece of membrane. And as, as you can see, it's also very flexible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and measure, and I'm gonna cut these pieces up, or cut this into pieces to use to replace the factory ones that were, um, were on the car to begin with. I'm really gonna just, just need two, like I said, this one here, uh, let me hold it here. This one here, which you can see kind of streamlines. I got this piece of tape on here. Anyway, this piece here, which kind of streamlines the air, actually we go this way, up into the radiator, and then the other piece on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some measurements and attach them to the holes that are already there. And uh, hopefully we get this done tonight because we're gonna do the installation of the turbo part tomorrow. Okay, here it is. Now I just gotta measure it and uh, try to trim it up and make it fit on that tarp. This is gonna be for the top part. All right, let's see if this fits. So now I'm just going to go ahead and mark where the holes should be. I might have to do some trimming from then on, but so at least get me close. Alright, just going to drill a couple holes, but hopefully that front part fits. Let's see how it lines up. Actually, the top part of this is working really well, and now what I need to do is measure and trim the bottom part, and then I'm going to attach it to the bolts that hold the brackets on the uh, with the intercooler. 
All right, I got this top piece all completed and it looks fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Got the bolts that were uh, holding the brackets onto the uh, intercooler, using those bolts for the front part, using the little push things for the back part, and it swoops up really nice because of the material. And uh, if I get real picky as far as it looks, I can trim it around and make it look a little bit better. But for now, I uh, just want to make sure it works. And next up, I have to do the one on the bottom, which is a little smaller piece, but it's still going to take some measuring and some other kind of stuff. It's going to be a little more difficult too because I got to crawl my big fat butt underneath the car. So I'm going to go and start measuring that piece. All right, I got the piece all cut out, and I'm going to go slide under the car and see if I can match up the uh, the holes, as this being the front, and then figure out where we're going to hook it in on the back. All right, so here's the part that's not quite so fun for me, and that is crawling underneath the front of the car. But what I really need to do here is this part gets bolted in. There's actually some holes under here, under in here in there and then like I said I'm going to attach it in the back and hopefully it's going to be a piece of cake and I will soon find out as soon as I get under there. Alright it is officially quarter after one in the morning and I finally got this thing done and um, it's kind of temporary. I was hoping it was going to be real but I ended up just kind of using some monster or gorilla tape or something on the front because the holes uh, didn't line up. They Actually they lined up for a different thing not for what I needed and I need to get the bigger push those push pin those plastic things uh, I didn't have the big enough ones but I was able to, to get this underneath you can see it's actually it's all white I got black on the top and then I got the air kind of dam breaker thing there also attached just attached with a couple of screws I had to go to Walmart and um, I used some Loctite so that should hold them on for now just to get me over to Del uh, Delmer's so we can work on the turbo part but it'll be a good test to see if this kind of thing works or not as far as the uh, keeping it cool while I'm driving, especially on the highway. Because I do have a few miles on the highway to, to get to this place. But we can see it. Let me get my light. See it from the front as well, or the inside actually. Where, well, you really can't see it. Uh, it's all blocked off down there. So all of the air should be venting. And I do have the side thing, the side is open. So we'll see if that affects it at all. But uh, that is the end of day two. Or, um, yeah, day two. And then tomorrow will be day three. Hopefully that'll be the end as far as the installation of all the hardware for tomorrow. And then all I gotta do is kinda wait for the injectors. I'll put those in and the tune. If you like this video, hopefully you did. And uh, you wanna see, again, the first one, I'll have a link down at the bottom in the description for day one. And then obviously I'll have day three whenever day three is ready to go. So um, that is it for this video. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.